And so, some intellectual person will just look and say, what is the church doing? What is the... We, we see no impact. Wasting economic hours. And then we straw man the argument. We say things like, instead of having vigils every day, do... All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about something very, very important and is currently trending as we speak. Uh, if you uh, followed, uh, you know, this podcast very well, you can remember that Peter Obi was actually at the Honest Bunch podcast last week where he talked about, you know, a whole lot of things. And uh, some parts of this podcast did not go well with, uh, you know, Christians and, uh, you know, they attacked him. I mean, some pastors are brutally attacking, you know, Peter Obi be over you know his statement on night vigil and uh, some pastors are reacting you know crazily to this particular issue just yesterday uh, the pastor of celebration church pastor emmanuel irene actually you know responded to peter obi's statement you know at that podcast and he was not smiling guys you need to hear what he has to say he was very blunt on peter obi despite the fact that they are very close friends uh i'll be sharing the highlights of what he said but before then if you are watching our channel for the very first time uh kindly subscribe to our youtube channel also drop your opinion in the comment section below let's hear what you have you know to say about this particular matter and also don't forget to drop a like with that being said stay tuned and so some intellectual person will just look and say what is the church doing what is it we, we see no impact wasting economic hours and then we straw man the argument we say things like instead of having vigils every day do how many churches do you know have vigils every day answer me yeah, you saw me as quizzing your face for context the, the person who made this statement is someone i love and respect let me even tell you something i never said there was one of our services he was supposed to attend but somehow you know something happened and he couldn't so i, I love and respect him and if there's another election i'll probably vote for him but he's wrong on this and a lot of people don't even see the argument was strawmaned what is a strawman argument it is putting up the weakest possible scenario and then arguing against it when you say uh, churches having vigils every day no logical person will support churches having vigils every day and most churches do not have vigils every day do they okay so now the next question how often do churches have meetings twice a week three times a week and most people don't even come for those other ones where you have midweek service. <laughs> so, thrice a week. Okay, thrice a week is a problem. If we heard that someone went to the gym every day, will that be a problem? So, you have to admit an underlying bias. The underlying bias is we don't really see the import. We, we only see progress and measure progress by economic. If it's not adding to my pocket, what is he doing? And that's a problem. It's the same mistake these guys were making. And by the way, it's the gaslighting for me. Nobody who has ever been in government, past or present, has the right to tell people what to do with their time. If they're not in church, do you have job for them? Do you have job for them? How many jobs have you created? Is it the church that is meant to create the jobs? Why did I come this direction?